Good morning, everybody. Today we are in uh, the Panhandle of Florida. We're at the Navarre Fishing Pier. And so I'm just going to kind of show you the entrance. Um, I'm going to show you this because it shows you the fees. It's uh, $7 for adults if you're fishing, $6 for senior citizens, uh, children, 15 and under. It's $4. If you're just walking like we're going to be doing today, it's at $1. It's a beautiful pier. Let's get after it. Let's learn about this together. I meant to uh, bring my tape measure to, to measure the width of this. If I had to guess, it's uh, approximately 20 feet. Let's look at this placard here real quick. Okay. This uh, pier, I, I did a little research on this and it got destroyed by Hurricane Ivan in 2004 and it was rebuilt in 2010, if I remember correctly. And uh, this is Florida's longest pier. It's 1,545 feet long. It is 30 feet above sea level, water level. It's a very nice pier. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos on this and I couldn't resist the opportunity to take you guys on this adventure. Uh, fortunately, it's not real windy today. It's a perfect day out here. It's early in the morning. It's uh, oh, almost eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, there was one guy pulling a fishing cart, not the guy in front of me, another guy pulling a fishing cart. He looks familiar. He had a big cart, uh, probably a YouTuber. He's inside paying now. We're going to see if we recognize any YouTubers out here today. Uh, I did hear a gentleman at the entrance saying the fishing is not good today yet. A lot of that has to do with tides and whatnot. Uh, just taking a look. I want to show you something here real quick. Let me get do the panoramic real quick. All right. Where we get started. So, my, my guess, based looking at the shoreline, it's somewhat low tide. It's uh, not super low. It's probably incoming. I don't know for a fact. Could be outgoing, but it's definitely not high tide. The best time to fish is usually around two hours either side of high tide. Uh, there's not a ton of people out here yet. It is a Monday morning. I'm sure this place was uh, packed Saturday and Sunday. So, uh, one of the things I wanted to tell you uh, based on watching other YouTube videos and channels, some piers, like the Naples Pier and the Fort Myers Beach Pier, before it was destroyed by the hurricane, uh, they outlaw any type of uh, fishing lure with a treble hook. Uh, based on all the videos I've seen, it does not seem that that is the case at this pier. I've seen a lot of people use... Uh, shiny lures for catching Spanish mackerel, what have you, with the treble hooks. There's a lot of beach carts here. Uh, maybe we'll catch an interview with somebody later. I just want to take you to the end and uh, see what we can find. The one thing I'm not seeing right now, which is different than what I'm used to seeing, a lot of people will bounce pompano jigs off the bottom. And I'm not seeing anybody do that here, but this gentleman here who's fishing, I don't know if you can see his action, that's usually something shiny that they're pulling, and it's really good for catching Spanish mackerel. Uh, we have a little uh, buggy coming by us here, let him through.
Look at that big old bridge net. <coughs> That's the other thing. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> With it being so high up, you, you pretty much have to have a bridge net or, you know, fish next to somebody that does. Because if you do catch a big fish, you need a, a way to uh, hoist them up and then re safely release him if it is not a legal fish to keep. As an example, a snook. Let's say you caught a 36 inch snook. You would have to release that fish. So and you just, uh, you can't just drop it from 30 feet up because that's unethical. So, a lot of fishing carts out here, a lot of fishing carts. So far, I like what I see. Uh, nobody's going crazy. Nobody's catching fish yet. With that part, I don't like. But uh, fishing carts are cool. I was thinking about doing a video uh, in the past, and this has sparked my energy, my desire to uh, create a fishing cart and show you step by step how you can do it, save a little bit of money. Uh, that may be coming in the future. So, I'm going to take a look at what, what kind of uh, what kind of rigs they're using here. Looks pretty much like a bucktail. Some of the videos I have seen, those are do, those do produce. Uh, they were producing very well for the Spanish mackerel. Here's another one, same type thing. I don't know how well you can see it. I try not to get too close to the edge because I don't want to drop my phone. <clears throat> All right. I think somebody has a catch here. Let's see what we can see here. This young lady has something going on here. All right. So. See what we... Yep, that's a, called a remora. They're, uh... You have something? No, this Okay. Oh, uh, is that what you saw, Dolphin? Okay, remora. If you're not familiar with that, you may want to. Do some research, uh, learn about that fish. It's it's really cool. The uh, the top portion of their body is like a suction cup. They attach to different fish. A lot of times, uh, sharks and what have you. They almost look like a uh, like a small cobia, but they they use the top of their body as a suction device. And I think they eat like parasites or something off the off the fish. Um, oh, look, let's take a look here. All right. Those are Spanish mackerel right there. There you go. So people are catching fish. And that's what I thought. The way uh, the technique the other gentleman was doing uh, previously, he, they're, it's like jerky. That's when people are using that method to catch Spanish mackerel. Uh, it's beautiful out here today. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize that. That trailer is a portable restroom, so you don't have to all walk all the way back. Well, that's kind of neat. Uh, I think I heard they have fish cleaning stations up here, but I haven't seen one yet. There is not a cloud in the sky today. Give you a panoramic view. Navarre Beach, their slogan is Florida's most relaxing place. Something like that. And I, I, I believe it. It's very nice. And this is really cool to see. I recycle your fishing line. Alright, so some of these guys are jerking upwards. That's kind of like a pompano technique. 
and also Spanish mackerel. The, the more aggressive he's doing, this gentleman over here, uh, that tells me he's probably more so trying to catch Spanish mackerel. But if you want to catch pompano, just let your, your pompano rig hit the bottom and just bounce it off the bottom a little bit. You don't need to have much of a hop, maybe just like a one foot type deal. This is a, a really nice uh, fishing cart here. You can see some of the essentials. They've attached the ammo boxes, which I've never seen that before, but that's really, really cool. Bait cutting station right there. Looks like it holds uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like it holds about 14 rods or 16. It's a pretty nice setup. That's a, one of the nicer ones. Uh, those, that one, that one there probably runs around $300. I've seen smaller ones that go like 225 up to 275. So that that one's probably a little over 300. Had some stainless steel rod holders on it. So we're at the end here. We're just going to do a quick loop. Uh, I don't recognize any uh, famous YouTubers. The one lady down there said that some dolphin were, were coming through. That's always a sign that fish are around. As I've said in the past, uh, some people have different philosophies on that. If you see a dolphin, some people don't like that because it uh, spooks the fish. But if... If you are uh, fishing and you, and you see dolphin, that means there's fish around, so it's a uh, give and take. Generally, the dolphin don't stay around too long. I'm going to have to research that. Nick's Custom Rods. day today folks look at that setup got a little uh, canopy over your head from the sun and the chair that's pretty cool that's what G money needs Love to see a nice fish caught on camera. That would be cool. I forgot to read the sign. A lot of these municipal piers, you do not have to have a fishing license. The municipality pays for it, and it's kind of covered under your, your your pier fee. I don't know that 100%, but that's usually uh, that's usually the case. Be nice to see some people get on some fish. That'd be really nice. I'm not recognizing any YouTubers out here today. Matter of fact, this guy over here with the backpack is the guy I saw coming in when I was coming in. He looks familiar, but he also has sunglasses on. I'm not sure if he's a YouTuber or not. Do you know what the tide schedule is? Uh, I believe it's supposed to be high tide around like 1, 1 o'clock. Okay, so it's pretty much low now, huh? It's, it's coming to high. It's in between. <laughs> you hear what I say? <laughs> 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 
<coughs> uh, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, this pier is a public pier. It opens up at 5 a.m. And I think it shuts down at 11 p.m. So those are the hours of operation for the pier. It's pretty good hours. Now you can see that cart in front of us. Uh, it has very soft wheels. That's, that cart's designed for the sand. Uh, it helps traverse the sand a lot easier. Beautiful day, folks. That's my next crib. My next life. All right. So, it is a wonderful day. Wonderful day. Uh, this is about almost 30 miles from Milton, Florida. Well, Milton's pretty big, so it depends on what side of Milton you're talking about. Probably 25. All right, let's see what the rules are here. I'm going to read the sign to the right here. It says, no running on the pier, no sitting or standing on the rail, no chairs allowed. I didn't know that. Or we've seen a couple chairs. It doesn't seem like they said anything to them. Um, no pets allowed, no jumping off the pier, no glass containers, no camping or cooking allowed, no fish of any kind left on the pier, no sabiki rigs allowed on the octagon. That was the end. We just left a little while ago. Uh, place all trash in containers, all tackle, <coughs> excuse me, except one rod and reel, ice chest carts, etc. must stay in the center of the octagon. No lights allowed. Um, so fishing patrons can carry four rods and reels max with only one in use and must be attended at all times. Okay, that's seen that on different YouTube videos. People get in trouble for uh, utilizing too many at the same time. Uh, nothing up against the rail. No exceptions. I'm moving forward because there's somebody coming by the center here with a cart. Uh, no pets allowed. So the same same rules there. All right. I like how it's really wide. Uh, the Fort Myers Beach Pier was real narrow real narrow it's gone now but uh it was real narrow i didn't like that it wasn't as long as the naples pier the naples pier has been rebuilt a couple times due to hurricanes uh it was probably about two-thirds the width of this pier this is definitely the nicest pier i've seen um the naples pier has a, a cool configuration to it because uh, a little, almost halfway down, they have a little, like, a concession stand and whatnot. This, if you wanted to get some food, you have to walk all the way back to the entrance. Uh, it's not an knock. It's just, a, a, just me noticing the differences. So, high tides in the afternoon. 1 p.m. Not sure what else I have on the agenda for today. I just want to take you guys out on this uh, journey and uh, hoping you like it. May come out here soon with some fishing gear and, and give it a whirl. Um, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It definitely puts you in a tranquil state when you come out to paradise like this. Uh, look at that. People are enjoying 
the beach. Like I said, it's a Monday, so it's not real crowded. Really nice, really nice. All right, folks, that's gonna be it for today. I uh, appreciate you guys coming along. We'll talk to you next time. Remember, folks, always know your legal limits.